Welcome to the Ozstar channel. Well, today I got something a little different here. I decided to do something nice for my lovely wife and wash her car. And as I was washing it, I'm going to show you exactly what I found here. So let's take a peek, spin you around. And, uh, you know, I see there's a little chip in the windshield right here. Hopefully you can see it. There's a storm coming. It's getting kind of dark. But anyway, that's no big deal. But as I'm washing it, I happen to see this big deal. So it starts here. Look, it just started raining. Anyway, it looks like the point of impact was like right there. So the crack comes down and around. Looks like I'll be headed to Delaware Auto Glass. Uh, I'll have to call them and set up an appointment, but I'll hopefully I'll film it for you guys. Let's go inside and see what Mrs. Ozstar has to say about this. Mrs. Ozstar. Yeah. What's up? This is my wife, Tracy, everybody. Hi. Um, I washed your car. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, but what's with the crack in the windshield? What do you mean? The big crack that's like a foot long that comes down U-shaped. What's up with that? How, you don't know how that happened? I don't happened? know how that happened. You don't? No. You sure? I'm positive. You didn't hear where the, a big rock or something hit? No. Oh, okay. You going to fix it? It happened when I was parked or something. You going to fix it? Yeah, I'm going to fix it. All right. That's why I have you. Awesome. All right. I guess I'll take care of it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you be to what you're doing. Hey. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. <laughs> what are you doing? How'd that, how'd that crack happen, Haley? I don't know. Huh? huh? I don't know. Somebody tell me the truth around here. We made it over here to Delaware Auto Glass. I'm here with Mikey. He's going to take good care of us, and today he's going to explain uh, pretty much how to put the windshield in properly. Now everything should go. So go ahead, Mikey, do your thing. All right. All right. Get started. Yep. So you're going to start by taking the yeah, rear, take view, the rear mirror. view mirror off first. Okay. And you got the sensor up there. Yep. It's a Was condensation it? sensor. Right. It's just got a little cover that pops right off. Yeah, so that way the climate control, I guess, knows when to put the, the defroster on. Is that what that exactly. does? Exactly. Yep. And it's just held on by, like, uh, glue. Unplug it. And then once we take the windshield out, we'll take it off and it'll go okay. right on the new Okay, put windshield. it on the other one? Yep. Cool. Easy enough. You just have clips, I guess? Yeah, you just get it from uh, behind and just pop them up. Usually come in and snap it off. Man, we started filming and it got quiet in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it will get dirt and debris all over the right is there a chance when you take the glass out sometimes it can it can shatter or, really or splinter shatter, but it can break the laminate glass so it's made so it can't shatter oh, okay it crack and everything but right I mean you could it pretty much stays together you could put bullet holes in it Gotcha. Yeah. Now, side windows is tempered glass and that will shatter and break into. Right. So what is this? What's this kind of glass called? This is then? called laminate. Laminate, okay. It's a, a layer of glass and then a laminate film and then mm -hmm. another layer of glass. Right, so it's two, it's two pieces, right?
should have been there. I prepped that first. Yeah, is this one right here? Yeah. I okay. I inspect it, make sure there's no defects, tips, scratch, or anything like that. Gotcha. So this is the built-in antenna? Oh, that's actually uh, the defroster. It's, uh, oh, it's got a lower the, heated defroster? For the, um, the windshield wipers. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this car had that. <laughs> Interesting. off the wipers and this wiper is, arms. This is called the cow. You take this off to okay. make it a little easier to get to. And yeah. Now some windshields are held in with just a gasket and a lot of them are with what? Butyl now or what? Uh, urethane? Uh, urethane. Urethane. Yeah. Um, all there's no newer vehicles that has has a gasket really. Okay. Um, make, like big big rig trucks, they they still use gaskets. Mm -hmm. But the cars are all held in by your thing now. So. Gotcha. Yeah, that's always good to have. It's amazing how fast a little clip can disappear, right? Or a screw or whatever. You spend more time trying to find your lost hardware than, than you do doing the job. Right. <laughs> Been down that road, who hasn't? Like, if we lose like one of these clips, that's not a big deal because we got, we got spares. But... Right. Definitely don't want to lose a, a wiper nut. Yeah. We don't carry them. All right, so the cowl's out. Slides right on. You right. See it's got these hooks. Okay. Go yep. underneath the windshield. Right, so you got to kind of slip it in yep. there. They lock on. Right to the edge here, the bottom. This right here is mm -hmm. the heating connector. Yes, the, right for the windshield wipers. Right. The little harness there. Now, Bob was saying that brand of aftermarket windshield they make a lot of OEM glass is that correct or uh, you said this brand here oh yeah, yeah yep. so what brand what is this brand here called it's obviously it's about upside down but what is it here oh X. it's KYG KYG yeah. okay so and they, they do like uh, a lot of OEMs for the the Hondas, the Kias, okay. stuff like that. That's where you cut. Okay, let's cut it. We'll see what tool he uses to get that out. You like to start in a certain this spot. It's called a full cut tool. It's got a 90 degree blade on it. Okay. Full cut. Do you like to start down in any particular place? or? Um, Sometimes you can start at the top, sometimes at the bottom, yeah, depending on where the, how much room you have and where the best position to get the blade in. Yeah, scratch the, the leverage, blade. right. underneath this black brick and it's okay. just cutting cut it along the top. This is where eating your Wheaties 
PSAs off, right? Yes, definitely. to give uh, our extractor lubricant so it's not as much friction. Okay. Interesting. Uh -oh. oh, you got the big guns out. Let's yeah. see that tool here. So what's this, what do you call this blade here? It's an extractor here? and this is just a, a flat extractor blade. Okay. It slices that sealant yeah. down there it's from the inside. It's kind of like a soul saw, it's got the same, uh -huh. same motion. Gotcha. And that's because you can't get the cold cut blade far enough up under here. Got you, so because so the sealant's up this way. Right. right. So you just, you know. You want to keep one hand underneath of it while you're cutting because you can't tear up the dashboard. Right. It separates them from the boys. <laughs> Now it should be pretty much loose, right? It's free all the way around and ready okay. to be taken out. All right. You need help with that or you get it yourself? Okay, so the windshield sealant is completely cut and now it's time to pop it out. What do you guys do with all this broken glass? Just throw it in a dumpster. That's it? Yep. I'm pretty sure that they take it and they grind it down and, mm -hmm. and, and ask it. Okay, so now you're going to remove those clips. Yeah, just put a little heat to it to help loosen the glue up. It's not too much, you don't want to melt it. Mm -hmm. You know from experience like where it needs to go back on the new piece or well, you kind of measure or you just know? Well this one is kind of easy. Mm -hmm. Come over here I'm Oh, they it's already marked box. it. Yep, they already so, marked it for you right there. Oh, let me get it without the glare there. Come over there, you can kind of see it like right there. Yep, that's cool. And I noticed they already have the rear view mirror. Yep, the rear view mirror attached. button's already attached. They don't, uh, years ago you used to just get the glue and do it yourself, so. Is that something that OEMs do now for safety, or? Um, I, yeah, I would imagine. It's, huh. So you know, you don't take a chance of breaking. Yeah. Breaking it. Gotcha. So that makes that really it's, easy. Yeah, as long as you don't heat, put it upside down. Put some heat to it and it softens it up a little bit and, and it's already makes bonded. It, yeah. Makes it go back. You didn't even have to put any of these. Great. So here's the uh, frame now, a pillar. Some residue and stuff. I 
this is my scraper. Okay. I use that to cut the old urethane off. Yep. And you want to try to, you don't take it down to the metal though, right? So you don't uh, try not to scratch to it. it. Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's, there's no, uh, no way not to scratch it. Yeah. But we do a step off. There's a front, yeah, right. Over. There's a primer for that. What we do when it doesn't yep. scratch. If you're using metal, sharp metal tools on paint, yeah, it's so scary. It, it's going to, it's going to scratch. Just you want to scratch it where it's not going to show. Right. Absolutely. It seems like it cuts really nice once you get it going there. It does. Some people uh, prefer to use a long razor knife, mm -hmm. but I like these better. It's a nice even yeah. cut. It's almost like a gasket scraper it looks like. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay. My wife a souvenir. Right. <laughs> and when the urethane dries, it's like mm -hmm. it's really strong. Yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's like a rubber. Yeah, it's almost like tire rubber. And it's made like that to, to flex durable. with the windshield okay. as the car moves. Right. Okay, so what do you got uh, there? This is uh, just a primer. Okay. This was, I was saying, the next step to when you do scratch it underneath so it doesn't rust. Just put it on a dauber like this. Yep. And you can see the areas where, where the scraper scratches. Okay, and that, that protects all that. Yep. So if protects moisture it. does get under there, it's not going to start exactly. rusting causing a leak or whatever, or just rot. Do you see a lot of A-pillars and stuff that have rot in oh, it yes. that come in? A lot of them. Because a lot of it's probably from poor, poor uh, window replacements, yes, right? exactly. Uh, doing it incorrectly. That's like one of my pet peeves. It, it irks me to, to work after somebody that doesn't use this stuff. Yeah, it takes, you know, what's it, it take? Two minutes? Put on <laughs> Years of protection from it. It's going to totally destroy a car. You're right. Rust. It's horrible. And that primer's made to work with your urethane seal, exactly, right? Exactly, yep. Yeah. It's, it's made by the uh, same, same company that yeah. makes our urethane. Definitely smells strong, that's for sure. 
got a unique smell to it. That'll almost get you through the day. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, it punches a hole right in for you. Now, you guys must have invented that. <laughs> yeah, these, these are actually... That's cool. I like uh, that. Setting pins for a back way. Okay. So, <laughs> works, works out good. So this is your thing we use. Yeah. Um, you got to cut your tip. Mm -hmm. You know, from doing it for so long, you know what size tip you want to use. Okay. That comes from experience, or? Yeah, it does. Okay. I mean, uh, I don't know if the camera will be able to see it, but you cut, there's a, a guideline here that you cut, mm -hmm. and then there's a V guideline here that you can follow. Gotcha, so it's more accurate. So as a windshield this size normally take two tubes, or uh, about approximately one and a half? One and a half. Find it better to run with continuous speed across the top, prevents it from uh, right so water can't find its way in. kind of centering it right now. Yep. Usually the best way to you know if you have it centered right is by your wind window. Or you can talk. Gotcha. Out eight. 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 Me just around eight. Eight. So he's telling me he has an eighth inch from the glass mm -hmm. to the clip. So that's the only way I got to come over about an eighth inch. And I just want to press it down, make sure it's sealed. Right. It's touching every part of the window. Make sure you're Top mold is lined up nice and even with the roof. Very good. So how long does that sealant usually take till it's kind of set up? You know, um, obviously it's wet right now, but. It says it's a two hour dry time on this seal. Yeah. Now it's not I mean it's completely dry. Right. It would be like dry to the touch kind of thing, right? Yeah. After two hours, there's no way I could sit sit in here and yeah. push the windshield out. If I got in there now mm -hmm. and push, I'd have to use a lot of force. And that's just after two minutes. Right. This, this uh, new blue seat that come out with is really good. Good stuff. First step you need to plug your, your heat leak back in. Yep. Let's come around or inside, inside. And then hooks I showed you, you just Yep, you gotta slip it under it there. And... Right. There you go. Now, do you ever run into trouble where cars have been in body shops and had new roofs or A-pillars or something like that and 
stuff doesn't line up for you or um not really come. there's some wiggle room there yeah there's usually a little bit of wiggle room i've never had an issue where i've taken the cab off and, and it didn't go back on right or mm -hmm. or i like just set a windshield in now we've had cars come in where say the the hood flew up and smashed the windshield yeah. then in the roof now the the glass would go in, but there might be a gap because the roof is done in. Oh, gotcha. Happens, they don't want to take it to the body shop. <laughs> we just backfill it with glue, so there's no... I mean, it might not yeah, look pretty, but... That's all you can do. It's not going to leak. Right. What's that, for the squirters? Yep, this is for the... Uh, washer. Washer, for exactly. Buttoning everything up, putting all the trim back. That goes in a lot easier. Yeah, you just snap right Yep. Get the inside cleaned up. That just snaps back in or just plug it just plug it right in like this. Right. No problem. So a little, little cover, cover. Uh-huh. Find the right spot. Now, do those mirrors, when you release it, did it have a clip or it just, slide, just slides just down? Just slides down and so, uh, 20 Torx. Oh, okay. It's got a little Torx screw there. Good smelling stuff on there. the deal like no slamming doors with the windows up for 24 hours or something like that it's probably a good idea not to other than that sets up quick yeah <laughs> let's see once you keep that on uh, tomorrow morning or like tonight when you get home and you're not going anywhere you can take it off tonight okay we definitely want to take it off in the morning yeah and uh no car wash for five days awesome well thanks mikey Appreciate all your help. You no did a problem. great job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate my fans here. Probably appreciate you explaining the process. Yeah. That's how you do it right. Well, this is crazy. So on my way home, I was about 15 miles up at the glass shop. I'm back at my place now. Mrs. Ostar should be happy with her new windshield. Anyway, when you know it, a big rock kicks up. The car in front of me was in front of a trailer pulling a little bobcat, like one of those loaders. A stone kicks up. A big one hits the windshield. I cringed, I couldn't believe it. You know that crack sound I'm talking about. I'm looking all over, I'm scanning across the windshield to see for any damage. Look right there. I'm gonna zoom right in. That's where that little rascal hit me. Brand new. That is a chip right there. A nick, I guess you could call it. Oh, it never fails. I guess it happens to the best of us. I want to thank those guys up at Delaware Auto Glass for doing a great job. I appreciate it. I did pay for this windshield. This is not a sponsored video. This came out of my pocket, and I hope you enjoyed the video. It gave you a little bit more insight on how a windshield should be put in correctly. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet down below. Click the bell for notifications. I appreciate it. Instagram's OzStar1, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.